everyone, welcome back to the Kyoto's Creative Board for YouTube channel. My name is Rachel and I'll be teaching the piano accordion from now on. If you've watched any of the other videos on this channel, you'll see that I'm usually the flute teacher and Orla usually teaches the accordion, but from now on I'll be taking over her lessons. Orla taught the accordion and got up to about two or three tunes teaching, but I'm just going to treat it like a new fresh start and I'm going to go over the same notes and teach you how to play the accordion from scratch so that you know my way of teaching and then it's easier for the rest of the lessons maybe but watch all those videos if you want but I'll be starting a new fresh set here today. This video is sponsored by the Executive Office, T-Buck Organisation and the Mary Moore Down Council. Um, they're fun in this video. Playing a note on the accordion includes pulling out the bellus. So if you go like this here now, pull out your bellus, it doesn't really come out very far it doesn't come out at all really just a tiny wee bit it's very hard to get it out so we press the note that we want to play so we're going to play a B and we're going to pull out the bellus at the same time okay now forget about these buttons here they're called the bases and you don't need to go over over to the left hand for a very long time because it takes a long time to get the right hand perfected never mind the left so if I have notes or anything covered up over the left, don't worry about it. But we're going to play that again. We're going to play B and we're going to pull out the bellus. One, two, three. Just a light, gentle pull. No, don't be pulling too hard. Don't be hurting your arm or your hand or your elbow or anything. Just a light wee pull. And then, so say we play a tune and we have our bellus way out like this and we're playing. And then we, we're like, oh no, we've run out of... Either we just go back in. So press your B. So right, okay, everybody. So press your R button, which is at the side of your accordion. You mightn't be able to see mine because it's black. Against the black, you might be able to see it there in the sun. So so pull your ballast out, and even press B the whole way. Press B the whole way till your ballast is out. And now that you're out, press B again, but pull or push in. Don't pull in. Push in. Okay, so if you want to just press your air button, so this air button, you just press it and you can go in or out at ease. Okay, so I want you to do pull for three seconds and push back in for three. Okay, one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Okay. Right, so just keep doing that with any note you want from D to high D, which we've done today, and keep doing that over and over again. So I'm going to play the scale now, which is D to D in the higher octave, higher D as I call it. So I'll just play it here and then we'll go through it together and analyse it a bit more. <laughs> Okay, so the first note is D. The second note is E. Then F sharp. G. A. B. C. That's C sharp. And then D. So these two Ds are the same note, but just a higher octave, an octave higher. So an octave is just eight notes ahead. So there's only eight notes. There isn't, there's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but there isn't H, I, J, K or, or anything further on than that. Now, if you play the piano already or have any history in the piano, the accordion is just the piano accordion, which means it's the exact same notes as a piano. The same layout, the same black keys and the same white keys. In that D scale that I just played, I played F sharp and C sharp instead of F natural and C natural. And in a lot of trad tunes, you would use the F natural and C natural, but in a lot of the beginner ones that we're going to start off with, we'll be playing F sharp and C sharp, which are the two black notes. So I'm going to put up a 
wee diagram beside me here because a lot of people would write the notes on the accordion but then that isn't very professional looking when you're better at it. Okay, so we're gonna do go through the scale again together holding each note for about three beats, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> quiz I'm going to point at a note and you're going to pause the video say it out loud and unpause the video and hopefully you got it right just a wee exercise and you should maybe go back later on when you're doing other videos of mine before you move on to the next lesson come back to this wee part of my video and even do this exercise because it'll help you learn the notes in the accordion so I'm going to play this one and tell me what it is pause here now that you're back, that was G. Hopefully you got it right, fingers crossed, but it is only the first time, so. Right, we'll do two more. That note was B. And the last one. That one was F sharp. Now, hopefully you got it, and you can do this at your shelf if you want, and just run through it, um, but it really is just in alphabetical order, so it's not too hard to remember. But always remember this one is D. And if you know that, you'll know the rest of them. Okay, now the first practice tune that we're going to do is hot cross buns. Just a small wee tune, a wee piece of music that will help you use your notes. So this tune only includes B, A and G. Okay, and a lot of you will probably know the tune of this hot cross buns. Very simple wee piece of music. I'll play it through and then I'll go through it in more in depth. three notes I'll put the notes up of it here beside me and we'll go through it again together now okay now we're going to play our first wee piece of music called hot cross buns it's a simple wee tune that most of you will know and I'll play the I'll play it here through and then we can go through it together <laughs> We only use three notes in this wee tune, B, A and G. So we'll play the first, I'm gonna put the notes up here beside me and we're gonna do the first two lines, okay? Together, one, two, three. Okay, we'll play it one more time to try and play it with me or pause after I'm done and play it yourself. One, two, three. play the third line just four G's so we'll do that together one two three now we're gonna do the fourth line which is just four A's we'll do it together one two three remember don't pull out your ballast too hard don't be hurting yourself, just a wee gentle tug. And then the last line. One more time. Okay, right, now we're gonna do the first two lines together. One, two, three. Okay, right, we're gonna do that again. One more time. One, two, three. Okay, now we're going to do the third and the fourth line together. Do that again. One, two, three. And then the last line. Again. One, two. Okay, right, now we're going to try and do the whole thing. 
everybody. I, I'll play it once and then we'll do it together, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> going over it yourself and then go back and play it along with me. I know this might sound a bit repetitive in a video but it's always great to pause and do your own thing but keep doing what I'm telling you in the video because that's how you learn. Okay everyone thanks very much for watching that video there. I hope you all enjoyed it and that it was helpful. Um, I'll be back next week with lesson two of this video so make sure you all come back for lesson two on the Creep Borker Cultus YouTube channel video lessons on the accordion with Rachel. Thanks very much guys. See you next week.